Now, 11 Sports. Another glimpse into the future for the Orioles. Brian Mattis made his first big league start and helped the Orioles set a major league record. The first team to have five rookies win their debuts in the same season. Mattis was their first round pick last year. He was expected to spend the whole year in the minors, but they ran out of pitchers, so here you go. Mattis was tremendous. He goes five innings, striking out five Tigers, gave up only one run. He got some great defense, too. Cesar is tourist. This guy is a stud with a glove. Bases loaded in the second as tourist comes to the rescue. Inning over. Mattis probably ought to buy his tourist dinner because Caesar ruled with a bat, too. He had a career night. Three hits, three RBIs, and his first homer since opening day. Three to one Orioles on top. Nick Marcakis provided some extra fireworks, delivering a tape measure home run. 442 feet, his 13th homer. He's got 76 RBIs now. 8 2 0's win for Mattis, his first win. And the obligatory, yep, shaving cream pie in the face. It's becoming a fun tradition around here. Here's Merrill Petit asking for a little divine intervention and his 11 month losing streak. And the Diamondbacks pitcher got some help. Ryan Roberts takes away a base hit in the first. Great play. As it turns out, the Pirates couldn't get any hits. In the fifth, Petit strikes out Ronnie Cedeno. He had a no-hitter through seven. This is a guy who hasn't won since last August. The Pirates fans, they could barely watch. But in the eighth, Cedeno exacts his revenge. There goes the no-no. Petit settles for a one-hitter. Great job. Six-zip the final there. So a couple of unbelievable pitching performances tonight. The Ravens went through another day of double sessions in Westminster. One of those scorching days where the thousands of fans that show up wonder, how do these guys do this? One position to keep an eye on is who will be the starting running back. Willis McGahee returns for his third year, but if he wants to hold on to his starting job, he'll have to fend off the guy in the receiving end of that one. Second year running back Ray Rice, who is making sure to remain politically correct. Um, I think it's running back by committee here, but... Big news on the injury front, uh, Adam Terry was expected to be the backup at left and right tackle. Done for the year because of a knee injury. Mark Clayton and Derek Mason, they were all chuckles all over the weekend, but the smile's been wiped off Clayton's face, at least for now. He tweaked his hamstring, said after practice he'll probably miss a couple of weeks of training camp. Finally tonight, we have a teaching moment for you. If you tweet on Twitter and act like a twit, there will be a tit for tat. Here's the deal. Antonio Cromarte, a quarterback for the Chargers, doesn't think the food at training camp is up to par. So he went on Twitter, sent out a tweet, not only expressing his displeasure with the cuisine, but drawing the analogy between their bad food and their inability to reach the Super Bowl. The Chargers responded by fining Cromarte $2,500. That's a stiff check for a bad meal, don't you think? They should have put him on a Spam and cauliflower diet. And that would have done it right there. No offense to spam eaters. Tom's back. With